hello and welcome to Cape and Nick's channel. So today I'm seriously excited because something came in the mail. It's a surprise and I guess my mom ordered this online. It's Munch Pack. Munch Pack is a monthly like a little box full of international foods. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. In this video, I'm going to be opening all of that, and then whatever I find the most interesting, I'm going to be trying, and then the rest will be used in future candy testings. Also, before I start, I would like to announce that I have picked the winner for my giveaway contest of English sweets and foods, and that will be announced at the end of the video. I'm gonna zoom out, kind of. I'm just pushing my computer back. It's not really zooming out. I'm going to show you what's inside the box. By the way, I haven't looked in this before. Like, we opened it. I've seen like this newspaper that's on top, but I haven't seen any of the candies or anything. I'm serious, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, okay, so the first thing I see is a Nutri, Nutrivita, Nutri, Nutri, or Nutri chips. They're banana chips. Sal, Salgada, got new there by. Look at that, it's cool. The next thing is chocolate wafers by Bonduco. Forgive me if I'm go, because I'm probably going to pronounce like all of these wrong. Three delicious creamy layers. Next, is this in Japanese? It's Kiki, like with fruit. Okay, so. Oh, it's fruit toffee. And look, it's got this little clown on it over there. Look at that little clown. That's like kind of creepy and kind of cute at the same time. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I see something that's Hello Kitty. I don't know what it is, but it's Hello Kitty and I love Hello Kitty. Oh my God. Um, oh, this is combos. I've never had combos before, but I, I see them in like stores a lot here in America. And this is pizzeria pretzel flavored, uh, what are they like? They're like little crouton-ish things, right? I don't remember. Oh, this is them, right? That's them. Next up is Prima Snacks. Slanny Stapici, Stapici. By Stork. Look at those, they're, what are they? They look kind of like pretzel sticks. Coming up next is Eugenia Original Biscuit. Oh my gosh, this packaging is cute. It's got like little polka dots. I love polka dots. There, it's square, it's cool. It's actually rectangular. So this seems to be in, this is Japanese, maybe Korean. This is green tea, and that's all it says in English. Um, but, it's this thing, and it feels kind of squishy through the packaging, and it looks kind of like a marshmallow. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's kind of like a little marshmallow-y thing. But you've, we've tried something like that before. This is a Jolly Rancher crayon, and it appears to be in grape flavor. <laughs> oh my God, this is so awesome. I haven't really had too many Jolly Ranchers, in my life because I've always been afraid that I would like choke on them. But this is cool. I've never seen something like this before. These are drumsticks. Drumsticks. Sorry, I shouldn't wiggle it around so much to actually like hold it in front of the camera. Um, any clues as to what this may be? All right, that'll just be a surprise someday when I try these. Oh, these are by the, um, in a Japanese candy test with my dad. I can't remember if it was the first or like second one or the third, because there's three of them. We tried all these gummies. This is an orange one. This is, oh, this is Kinder. It's not Kinder, because a lot of people correct me on that, so, sorry. Kinder. It's going down. I'm yelling Kinder. And it appears to be a hedgehog. Wait, what is this? Cocoa cream, happy hippo biscuit. Oh, it's a hippo. Oh, it's a hippo. Oh, I get it. I was holding it upside down. Well, or maybe it's just upside down. 
this is what it's supposed to look like. We're getting to the bottom of the box. Oh, never mind. Gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is so awesome. Okay. It's like a candy tester stream. Okay, this is Hello Kitty gummy treats in orange, apple, strawberry, and pineapple. Oh my gosh, and they're like little cute individually wrapped things. These are adorable. I think I have enough to do with gummy testing. Let's do with gummy testing. My dentist would probably not prove that with the braces. And these are, oh, I love these things. I love these things. Um, these are Walker's Pure Butter Shortbread Cookies, which I've had before, so I'll probably just eat them off camera instead of on camera. This is garlic green peas. What? Okay. Oh look, it's got a little little person. I'm very curious. Does it smell like anything? No. How would I be able to smell it through the packaging? I don't know. Sometimes you can. This is it looks very interesting. It says Peruleta and it's magic powder in pineapple flavor with the little fairy girl on it. Yeah. These are Ochre's fingers. They look like, kind of like little cookies or like biscuits really. Kind of like, they look kind of like digestives except it's rectangular cracker form. And the last thing in the box is, oh these, yeah. It's um Koala's March chocolate cream filled cookies. I've had these before. They are awesome. Um, like they're, they're really good. So once again, I probably will not try these on camera, but let me eat them off screen. Um, these things are awesome. So the next part, second half of the video is going to be me trying something that sounds cool. From here, it's one thing and the rest will be in other things. I think I'm gonna try the Jolly Rancher crayon. This is it without like the wrapper. It kinda looks like a rocket ship. Whoa, okay. There is a uh, slimy, it's weird and slimy. Um, okay. It smells very strongly of grape and it's like a gr grossish kind of, well, it's like a grayish kind of speckly color coming out of this tube. See, we have things like this here. I tried one off camera like a couple weeks back that was like this too. Okay, so I'm just gonna like, how do I eat this? Thank you. Spoon. And there's some in the cup, like in the top of it. So I'm just gonna like, okay. Wow, this is really um thick. Okay, got a little bit there. Sour. Mmm, but that's good. It's like really sugary and grape flavored. It's kind of grainy, it's kind of an odd texture. And it certainly does not look um, too good, but yeah. It's definitely interesting. I didn't think that existed. I didn't even think that liquid jelly, uh, this is almost a liquid. It's like somewhere between liquid and like solid kind of, it's like a goo. And I probably wouldn't eat it again because it's grainy and the color's weird, the texture's kind of weird, but it was pretty good flavor wise. Now I'm going to rate this as I usually do, unless I forget on a scale of one, two, Ten, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm gonna give this. It kind of has like a bitterish aftertaste. So I'm gonna give it like a, a six, cause it's pretty good, you know. Like I wouldn't like go out and buy this from a store, but it's like I don't hate it, you know. It's like somewhere in between. All right. So like I promised in the beginning of the video, I'm going to pick the winner. Yay! Now. Um, and my dad is holding this hat for me. I'm gonna pick something from the hat. Picking a person. Okay, I got the person. It's in the thing. And the winner is Jogon Pro! Jogon Pro has won. There, there it is. I'll probably will be sending you a YouTube message within the next 
couple days of this being posted. Thank you for entering, and back to the end of the video. Yeah. So stay tuned for our more candy testings when I'll try the rest of these with hopefully some guests and stuff. Um, I don't know who yet, but yeah. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Boom Cake on the Channel.